Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's 10 a.m. Sunday morning <clears throat> on May the 7th, 2023. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to, to join me. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. We are going to continue on with A Week in Bin Long. We are using the 1.30 update, which was released uh, last week. And uh, some more housekeeping is that we will be hopefully releasing the 2.30 update for Middle East next week. We did hand it off. We're just waiting for Slytherin to send us the installer so we can check it out, make sure that everything is hunky-dory. <coughs> As a reminder, the 2.30 update will be bringing this game up to the same standards as Middle East. Or, sorry, as Vietnam. And, yeah, that's about it. It won't be scripted, fair warning. That'll be coming in, in future updates. Uh, there will be a handful of scenarios created by Petri, or a.k.a. Crossroads, that do have some scripting. They're the search scenarios that deal with some hypothetical fighting in Libya, I believe. Good day, Bess. Good to see you. I hope you're having a good day. Again, if you have any questions or comments and you're watching this uh, on YouTube, feel free to ask them down below. I do answer all the questions that they come. Yeah, I hear you, Bess. It's one of those one of those weeks, one of those days. Happy thoughts, though. Heck yeah! Woohoo! Hey, Stipe. Good to see you. So what's going on here in Bin Long? Well, we've got some good news and some not so good news. The good news is, look at this. We are advancing with a fairly substantial force now into Locked In. Uh, as you can see here, most of these objectives are worth five points. And keep in mind that these points are cumulative. So every turn that these VC units hold on to these points is five points that they're gaining. And vice versa, once we capture them, every turn, five points will be going into our bucket of, of points so far. Let's take a look and see what the situation is for the victory conditions. We have managed to come into a draw right now, which is great. And we still have 21 turns left. So we can see us ourselves increasing this as we start collecting more of these points. Although, turn 400 will be another uh, VC turn where they do collect based on all the, you know, where they have their locations. If they have any areas that are not, I'm not secured. So unfortunately, next turn will be pretty brutal. And then after that, we should see a continuous rise up, hopefully, to a minor victory or even a major, but it'll depend here. Depend on how much we can recapture, because the VC do get points just for having one location in some of these areas. On the bright side, most of the southern areas now are controlled by um, uh, free world forces. And we are wrapping up some of these southern outliers, so that's good. Like, for example, this here, there's no VC points anywhere in there, so that's 2,000 points that they're going to be missing out on. Here, they will get points for Area Maryland because they still own a handful of points, and there's nothing I can do about that before the next major point count. So, yeah, so far so good. The bad news is that we are literally two turns away from nighttime. And then with night operations means my movement for vehicles is going to go down the toilet. And combat is going to be affected in the sense that everything is going to be reduced for fire, for assaults, for everything. It's just going to be much more difficult to do the things that I need to do. Uh, down here we have some APCs that are racing up this road as quickly as we can to recapture this town of uh, Fuak Vin. But unfortunately, you know, we might get there in time, but going further up the roads, all our movement is going to be at half point. So we need to utilize our helicopters as effectively as we possibly can during the nighttime because those are not affected by 
night movement. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, we did send some units out to... Hang on. I had somewhere... Nope, not the dozers. Let's highlight loaded units. Save me time from clicking. <coughs> there were some points down here that we were going to... Oh, look at that. They are just going in the trails. Ah, yeah. So we do have a reconnaissance team that we're going to drive over here and go grab these points. It looks like they're down here, so we might as well see if we have something else that we can send into the woods. Is there a road there? No, it'll be best to take some infantry into there because there's there's no road access, unfortunately. So let's see, what do we have for infantry? We have a couple of machine guns. Let's grab those. And get them on the roads. I turned down the volume. Let's turn it up just a little bit. All right, let's start from the top make sure that this is all good so we did quite a bit of movement already last session and I think we're just coming up to the end of this particular turn I just want to confirm and make sure that we moved everything that we want to do uh, these units have moved here we're clearing wrecks these helicopters are refueling we have a, a whole bunch of other helicopters here. So these helicopters are going to be exponentially important for the next 20 turns once darkness comes. Uh, they're waiting for a ride. We have a battery here. Let's utilize this battery. We're going to assume that this platoon is going after that point. So let's uh, cover that point. Here we have managed to get on the road and clear the road and get some vehicles up here to help out which is nice but oh yeah so here we have a helicopter that has crashed or not crashed but forced to land in a very jungle wooded area so we have to send this headquarters we're gonna punt it over here to, to go secure that unfortunately that helicopter is loaded with a full strength infantry platoon so I can't unload it until it uh, is happy again here we have rattlesnake ridge we are taking out some of the the rockets and whatnot that we are finding we did do an assault on here and we did reduce some of the units so that's good and we are gonna send there's more rockets down here that we found by watching where the, uh, the rockets were coming from. And we identified some back there. And we're going to send this platoon back there. Well, mind you, it's only a squad. Let's do a recon and see what we see. Nothing. Oh, anti-aircraft machine guns, of course. Oh, and mortars. Okay, let's do a recon here. No. Nope. Let's do one more. No. Ah. We're flying too high, that's why. We're, we're flying low, so it's harder to see things the higher you fly, right? Okay, so this is all good. Uh, here, we did what we could. These helicopters, I think they're okay for eyes in the skies. Let's move our construction platoon out of the way. We have a decent sized force attacking here, so hopefully we can get in there. And I think we've burned through all the batteries here. Yeah, these ones are out of ammo, unfortunately. Okay, so that's pretty much done. Let's go down south to the 3 9th Battalion. Uh, they're, mostly, they're mostly moved. They're getting ready to go. Oh, wait. Let's see, what can we do here? We have some advisors and the leader.
That's our artillery battery. Let's leave that here. We have some empty trucks. Uh, we have some mortars. Let's get them up here too. Uh, do we have enough to... Oh, we do. We can unload. Perfect. So that'll provide some artillery support, which is great. Uh, these construction platoon. Let's get them across. And then we have some extra vehicles. Let's load up this battalion headquarters. <coughs> and this machine gun. And we we were going to send some helicopters down here to help out. So let's see if we can find them. Oh. Maybe they haven't come down here yet. I don't see any helicopters. So... I think we are going to have them refuel, which I think they did now, so let's take... Oh, wait, before I do that. Let's see. Do we have any here? I don't see any, so let's take off. Put these in the high flight zone. Oh, I did, right there. Crap, I did already. Ah, son of a Gucci. I am kind of stuffed up, so sorry about that. Ah, yeah. So there we go. Now I know for next time where the helicopters are. These two will just fly over here, and we'll grab these two CI or Arvin units to deal with uh, going to do some point collection, I guess. All right. I think we are done for this turn, so let's save it. And let's end the turn and see what the VC are going to do. We are still worried about, worried about rockets and mortars at Loch Ninn. That is going to hopefully not devastate our attacking troops. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's mortars to the south down here. Way down in here somewhere. We got lucky. No disables. Yay. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, we took some serious casualties. Oh, wow. And our commander got eliminated. The rockets, they're the worst. We didn't take any losses there. That's good. Oh, still good. Oh, I can't believe we lost that leader. That was a battalion commander, too. Looks like it's just heavy weapons that are defending this, but we do have regular infantry companies up on the airfield itself. With any luck, this will fall next turn. Actually, maybe two turns, because we do have our engineers that we're going to bring across. This is a minor river. I can't cross that, but that means they can't cross it either. Good day and welcome, Seeker 10,000. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. Oh, man. 
Don't take losses. Heavy weapons. All in here there's heavy weapons. That'll be a tough thing to get into. And RPGs. So there's probably machine guns and and, and RPGs in there. Uh, that sounded like a regular infantry platoon. Maybe even a sniper. We're hoping to not run away. So we can assault this hill top again. This is Rattlesnake Ridge. Oh, crap. Oh, what? Oh, a headquarters and a supply. Uh, heavy infantry weapons. I'll show you. Depending on the heavy weapon type, they should vary. The NATO symbol should vary. Oh, they're pulling out. Oh, what was that? Look at that. Those buggers. So those are sappers. That's down to a squad. That's encouraging. Oh, there was something there. Look at that. That's a sapper, sapper unit. That's a regular NVA. Crazy the regular troops got in here. Ooh. Still got disrupted. Yeah. For continuing to hold the Anlock area, we gain 100 points. That's nice. For continuing to hold the Conthan area, we gained 100. Same for Lai K. And we don't own the rest of them, so... Yeah, you know how it is. One airstrike remaining. We have two... Uh, two units that have recovered, some helicopters and infantry. Nine headquarters unable to provide supply. Three artillery units unavailable. 28 units low on ammo. And we did clear some wrecks. Now, here's the key thing. Oh, well, we caused casualties. That's good. Although it's just against uh, Uncon, short for Unconventional Forces. Ah, good to know. Thank you. Looks like they abandoned that position, so we're going to take that. Now, I have to be concerned about placement here. No casualties. These are all heavy weapons, though. Oh, no! Our artillery missed. Uh, we Lucky we didn't hit our own helicopters. Okay, since we're right beside infantry, let's use our gunships. Hopefully cause some casualties. But now let's uh, let's just assault that. Let's risk bringing our APC up. Oh, survive, please. Oh, I don't, it survived. That's good. So, because I'm attacking from two different directions, this is a flanking assault, which gives me a, we'll just call it a 10% bonus. And that allows me to overrun that platoon. There we go. So, we've we've cleared this road now. This is QL-13, heading up towards Loch Ninn. Oh yeah, I was going to show uh, Seeker 10,000, the heavy weapon symbols. So... If we go to, we'll go, we'll go here, for example. Let's show you 
the counters unit list counter style counter graphics NATO so if we go oh no wait a second show counters so yeah here you can see that there's different classifications for NATO symbology and uh, here we have the RPG we have a heavy machine gun or, or coilless rifle and then a heavy machine gun and that's the same for everything so everything has unique identifiers based on what they can do regular cavalry infantry etc just as an FYI and so here we have just so these must be local force units because they're labeled as insurgents so they are probably yeah just local force units and then if we go up to where that NVA platoon is I don't know where that NVA platoon is yeah there we go so there's an NVA platoon and that's regular infantry just as an FYI and if we look at uh, so if we go down to Anlock look at the helicopters you can see that they are all yeah yeah that's right there are mixed variants in there too for sure so there if you look in the manual you have to see this it's crazy oops i click the right button at the very end of the manual there's a whole listing here of all the nato icons that we use and what their explanations are just as an fyi uh, it's a fairly comprehensive list for sure but i'm going to go back to not showing the counters there we go i'm used to identifying things just by the the 3d symbol i just because I've been playing this game for years, it's just easier for me to identify what's on the ground by just looking at it and seeing how the graphics are. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Let's go to the area Washington Firebase and see how we can deal with this. Mm. First things first, let's see if we can overrun that. Ah, uh, no. So, we should be okay. Let's bring our engineers up. Let's do some firing at these guys. So we're not going to be able to assault, I don't think. What do we have? Uh, we have relatively full strength platoons. Let's try. Try our luck and see what happens. Oh, we wiped it out. All right. Heck yeah. That's perfect. And okay. So then we just have to deal with this next turn. And we've re-secured this area. Let's move our APCs down here. That's fantastic. What a nice surprise. Let's bring our 4.2 inch howitzers up. And just do some direct fire. They are in a trench, so it will be difficult to get in there, but that's okay. So these guys, let's send them south to go hunt for the mortars that we saw firing from down in here. So we're going to go after the... You know, we have to go down here anyways to grab that point. So let's send some troops down there. Uh, also, we're going to send a, a recon team to go grab that point. Uh, let's bring this up here. It has some indirect fire, so let's plot that there. Let's grab our 155 battery. Also try and hit those heavy weapons. We have a... Oh, it's out of ammo. 
We have a 105 battery that's out of ammo. That's unfortunate. Here we have a bunch of helicopters. That's, oh, we even have some gunships. Let's get them up in the sky. So these are snakes. As you know, we have snakes or hogs at this point in the battle. Our hogs are armed strictly with rockets, and they have a minimum firing distance of two hexes, whereas these, they're best firing at one hex away. So here, if you're down to nap of the earth, you're basically flying on the treetops, you'll attack at a 44 at one hex away with these snakes. We're going to bring them over here to help out wipe out these mortars, if we can find them. And here we have a mic force. Let's see if we can get them in some helicopters. And an Arvin platoon. Let's get them loaded in the Chinooks. And then we'll decide where we're going to put them. What do we have here? Some national police. Let's bring all these mic force units to this airfield. We only have one supply truck here, but it is good enough for refueling, which is perfect. Alright. So these two helicopters we're going to bring over here. They're in the high flight zone, so we'll have to drop down and then drop down onto the landing zone. You can see there's a landing zone there. Uh, we don't have enough to load them, so we'll wait till next turn. And then these other two helicopters, we will fly down south towards the 39th Battalion down here. Oh, what the heck? Looks like we found an anti-aircraft machine gun right there. These helicopters will be very handy. Can I get down? No, I can't. Uh, we do have some supply trucks here, so we can utilize this as a an operating base for the helicopters, which is exactly what we need to do. Uh, these Arvin troops are going to go into the trails. These Americans are going to load up. They're all loaded, except for those ones. Uh, we'll bring them back to catch a lift with the helicopters. And all these units here, we're going to... Oh, look at that. We have to go grab to that town, too. So let's uh, drive down here. What's in here? Machine gun? Let's unload the machine gun. Some M60s. We're going to send them up to go grab those two points there. Um, so what we can do is we'll fly one of those helicopters down into this landing zone, grab those two points. What do we have here? Some mortars, our task force headquarters. Uh, I think that's okay. I think we're good. At, this is good enough for here for now. Let's move some vehicles out of the way. Make some plans. That's uh, Arvin construction platoon. That's our battalion headquarters. Our battalion headquarters. Sorry, I keep saying that. Saying something for fifty years, and then all of a sudden, being told that it's wrong. It's like, oh no! Ah! Oh no! We got ambushed. Your grandpa actually served in the war? Oh, what, what did he do? Crap, we got freaking ambushed. What did he do in the war, Seeker? Alright, we're going to send these guys down south. And then... Maybe we'll come down to here and then over to here to the trails. Get on the trail network anyways. This guy will send across. He never talked about it. No, yeah, that's pretty normal, eh? 
he never told you what unit he was in or anything like that? Or what years? So it is going to be night next turn, I think. 401, yeah. So all of our truck movement is going to be significantly slower, unfortunately. Here we have a bunch of mortars that are out in the middle of nowhere. Let's go find John Wayne. Where's John Wayne? Is that John Wayne? No. Oh, look at that. That's an NVA troop in a, in Vietnam. Look, here's the border. Yeah, yeah, the buggers. Uh, let's pull him back onto the trail. Uh, nope, not even those things, but I was much younger, but now he has passed. Oh, sorry about that. My condolences to your passing, your dad's pass, or grandfather's passing. You might be able to find his records uh, in the archives. If you know his, his full name, you might be able to identify where he was, what he did. This is probably not going to work, but we're going to try doing... Oh, oh, look at that. There's a bunker there. So next time, we're going to take both of these troop platoons and put them in this bunker because that'll give them protection against all this madness that's going on around here. So uh, that's good to know. Uh, here we have some loaches. Let's get them up in the sky again. Bring them up here so we can see what's going on. Look at that. There's mortars. There's that anti-aircraft machine gun we knew about. Do a recon. Nothing. Ah, man. Thought we'd get lucky, but we know that there's an anti aircraft machine gun there. So let's move up with our arm platoon. Maybe we can capture this bunker and at least have a good position to fire indirectly. All right, down here. So this is locked in. How are we going to do this? Let's send in our Arvin machine guns. That we kind of expected. Now we know there's something there. Oh, these guys got wiped out. That was terrible. Draw some fire. Good thing that there's a lot of improved positions here that I built while we are oh what holy crap that wiped out the rest of that platoon jeez that's brutal so we are attacking assaulting with four platoons we'll see how that goes well, we cause casualties Uh, here, let's see if we can take out this sapper. It's only got one squad in there. Oh, that was fantastic. Look at that. Um, here, I'm going to pull back. Because this is going to be a nice prime target for a rocket. We don't want to be hit by rockets. Ah, oh, the RPGs. Oh no, that's a recordless rifle. That's an RPG. Oh, why can't I cross there? Oh, there's a creek. Crap. Oh no! We took so many casualties there, we lost... Uh, that's not good. Come 
They did. We already lost a battalion commander because of that. That's not very good, Stipe. That hurts my feeling. Here we're drawing fire. That's not good. Can I get across? Let's move these two platoons up. Let's fire at these guys. Oh, they're down to one strength point. Oh, this one has five. Let's hit the sappers because they're more of a pain. Did we cause any? Oh, we did cause a casualty, so that's good. Now, our construction platoons, they can't actually capture points. Oh, they can. That's kind of surprising. Let's move our regional force down here. This guy's not doing very well. These guys are also not doing very well. Let's run away. Let's see if we can cause some casualties against that NVA. Platoon. It's only one mortar, so we're not having a lot of luck, unfortunately. No, no luck at all. Now, do we have... We have a gunship somewhere around here. Where is our gunship? There's our hogs. All right. Let's get them up in the sky. Bring them up here. And we do have a bunch of artillery. Let's start utilizing that. Here, here. And we have two more batteries. One battery is out of is out of supply. Let's hit that. Hey, John, good to see you. Looking for the smoldering infernos to locate your choppers. Ha ha ha, Stipe, you're a funny guy. I hope you're doing well today, uh, John. Uh, we do have an infantry platoon up here. Look at all this. This is all, all VC country in the back here. Oh yeah, we need to go find John Wayne. Where's John Wayne? That's not John Wayne. There's John Wayne. All right. So let's double time. Oh, he's already double timed. We're gonna send him up this road. Oh, we have a jeep here. Oh, look. Look at that. The buggers. They've already come back and taken my points. Jeez, that's annoying. We need to move this battalion, battalion headquarters onto this trail so we can go rescue our helicopter. Here we have loaches and a Chinook. Yeah, that's slow and painful, unfortunately. Do helicopters leave wrecks? Uh, no, they don't. They don't leave wrecks. They should, but it hasn't been coded quite yet. Although, in this case, so when your helicopters run out of fuel, they will be forced to land, and they will be forced to land wherever they run out of fuel. So in this case, you can see this is saying zero which means it doesn't have any fuel left and it's red which also means it doesn't have any fuel left so it has crashed not crashed but been forced to land in this jungle hex and the only way for me to go and rescue it is by sending in either a headquarters or a supply truck into that hex and since it's in the middle of the woods i can't land there to do that or drive there so it's best if i just send uh, any headquarters up this way. So I'm just sending one of the Arvin Battalion Headquarters, Battalion Headquarters, into this area. So it'll take one, two, three, four turns to get there before I can recover this helicopter, which will be in the middle of the night. So that's great. Ah, this is what we want here. This is what we want. We want to move 
our armored vehicles as quickly as we can up towards Loch Ninn. Loch Ninn is just up here. We have an APC. Because next turn, all these units are going to take twice as long to move. Uh, we have some gunships. Let's bring them over by John Wayne. trucks. Uh, these guys can load up. And we have some more vehicles. So the whole plan is to send all these vehicles north towards Loch Ninn to help out. And while we're doing that, we're going to be clearing out some of these areas. Actually, we might as well send this American platoon back after it grabs that point. And the same with these units here. We'll just start sending them back because there's no need for them to be out here in the woods. We have Arvin troops. They are perfectly capable of doing that. Oh, we ran into a machine gun. And we can't do anything. So let's pull back and wait for some infantry support, which is coming right here. Now there was something back here, because we took all this already. These guys, they're hanging out. Oh, and they took these too, the buggers. I've already taken back, taken that already. Oh, the Arvin, they're going in behind me and grabbing my stuff. There is a sniper or something up on this hill. Do we have any infantry here? We do. Let's move them to the airfield and let's grab a helicopter. We have bridge engineers. We don't need those. Do we have any other infantry? Oh, we do. Look at that. Let's get them towards the airfield. And we're going to start moving them. I don't think we're going to have any more issues here at the main bases, so I think we're okay. These guys can move. Uh, these dusters, let's bring them back to the base. We have some troops down here. We have a recon team by the mic for... Oh, what's this? Is that... Is that a major river? That's going to suck if that's a major river. Oh, it's a shallow river. I can get across that. Just need more action points. And these guys have moved. Oh, our team down here. Let's deal with that straight away. Look at that. We found... Headquarters, and I think there was a supply unit there. Oh no, it's a it's some kind of jungle factory. Let's hit that supply cache and the headquarters. Oh yeah, we rocked that good, perfect. Now we'll go up towards this trail, grab that point. This guy he can double time up the trail, grab that. Here, we can grab that. Oh, what's this? Porters. Let's grab those. We destroyed some porters. We gained 20 more points. And this is why you have to go into the woods to go grab these things. Because if you don't, you might walk... As we've seen, we've walked by so many things before... And there's nothing we can do about it. 
And quite frankly, that was one of the main reasons why we have been attacked so heavily is because we didn't do what we were supposed to do during the first part of the scenario and by doing a proper search and destroy. We just went around to grab the points, which that's not what you're supposed to do. Now here I'm going to do, I'm doing that, I'm grabbing points, so that we can start collecting our own points and bring our point total up. So we, the VC will be collecting a whole bunch of t points this turn. We shall see how that goes. I don't know if this is defended or not. I'm going to assume it's not. I think they just did a run through, grab points, left. But I might unload our American platoon here because we don't want to run into an RPG and get wiped out. That's happened already. We don't want to do that again. Scooby-Doo will take care of those locations Charlie overtook. Otherwise, the map would be cluttered. Ha! <laughs> Touche, sir. With all my helicopters lost? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Not that I've lost any helicopters, right? No. We got ambushed here. That's a machine gun. Stipe is a funny guy. Okay, that's done. Locked in is done. This is not done. Uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to shoot at these guys. So they got stuck here. That's why they're there. So it's two against... Oh, they reduced me, the buggers. Oh, unacceptable. What's this? Infantry. Do I need to bring more infantry? Or no, that should be enough. Let's bring the infantry up here. So we're going to unload the infantry further down here because there's a machine gun or something in here that we need to deal with. And I can't deal with that just with my machine gun jeeps. They're not strong enough. Oh wow, there's a lot of wrecks. There's three wrecks there. There's one wreck there left. Uh, we can move our battery up the road now, up QL13, towards Loch Ninn. Let's just make sure that we've done everything here that we can. Yes, we pretty much have. Can this... Oh yeah, we're pretty much nighttime, so... I think that's it. I think that's all we can do for this turn. So let's save it. Press and turn and see what the VC do before nightfall. So now they're getting their points. We'll see how many points that they collect during our turn. See if that brought us down to a, a minor loss again or a draw or what. Don't forget to use your uh, too late. That that was the last chance to use the airstrikes. That being said, I was getting really low on airstrikes because they didn't refresh very well. Yeah, boo. No more airstrikes. That's it. No rockets this time? What the heck? That's the last position the they're holding, so that's encouraging. The VC is just no match for all the firepower that we can bear. 
once we have that firepower at hand. Oh, you should have seen last turn there, John. We lost the the 4 9th Battalion Arvin leader and wiped out probably three or four strength points worth of infantry. It was not very nice. In one hit. One hit! Oh, there's the anti-aircraft machine gun there. Yeah, ouch indeed. So hopefully this artillery strike will be useful and we can assault that. This There's more troops here than I thought there was going to be. That's not good. Oh, we took some losses. Hopefully that I don't get assaulted. All oh, that will suck if we get assaulted. Oh no. Oh, we wiped it out. Nice. RPG. Wow. Look at that. Ah, we didn't get lucky. RPG team or NVA platoon. Oh. Oh, good. We survived. Uh, these guys are just going back and forth. I'm okay with that. And just like that, our air support's been halted. It's now nighttime. And it'll return tomorrow, but it won't because we only have how many turns left. So we have five units that are isolated. This is in Loch Ninn, you can tell by the coordinates. Seven units uh, have recovered morale, which is good. Ten headquarters unable to ride supply. One artillery unit unavailable. Twenty-six units low on ammo, which makes sense. And uh, two, two, head, two helicopters need to refuel. We have to go find those. 89, 76. Okay. So, we did have a whole bunch of flares that we had been saving the whole week, but during the major attack that happened on the morning of day seven, we lost a lot of those smoke and flare options. So we have zero flares right now. All the night combat is going to be done in the dark. That kind of sucks. Oh, we're hitting our own troops. Blue on blue. Boo. Come on. Look at that. We want to see some... Oh, we reduced it by a squad. Perfect. So, this will make things a lot more interesting. And terrifying. Now, how do we do this? How do we do this? More importantly, how do I do this with my freaking hogs now? Because because they need to be able to see two hexes away. Let's try. Ah, no joy. Let's try and get into here. Ooh, that's good. That makes me happy. Let's advance to here. Draw some fire. On the Okay, so we got hit. That's not good. 
There's two platoons there. Let's advance here. Oh, that was a nice surprise. Okay, so we'll make a defensive position there. No, can't get in there. So let's try and overrun this platoon with these four platoons. No! Not having flares sucks a lot. That is the understatement of the day, John. Oh, before we do this, let's take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. We dropped like 20,000 points. Oh, freaking heck, that sucks. How are we doing? Look at how many EPs they collected. Man, which makes sense considering they held on to locking in here for such a long time. What's in there? so many heavy weapons in here. Huh. Okay, so let's let's come down here to Rattlesnake Ridge, see if we can get into here. Ah, uh, no, but we're causing casualties, so that's good. Let's move our machine gun closer, because we can now move into that position there. Let's get our artillery up. All right, what do we want to hit? We want to hit there. We want to hit here. Oh, well, we have all of our batteries. So let's hit there. And let's hit here. I'm actually kind of nervous about... Oh, we want to move our armored vehicle. Now notice... I'm going to move my armor vehicles up here, but they're going to be going really slow. Where are they? How far can they go? Yeah, see, not very. At nighttime, everything just crawls to a snail's pace. But we want to get these reinforcements up there as quickly as possible. But something that would normally take four turns will now take eight turns to do, unfortunately. Let's separate these guys out, pick them up. Get them heading north. These trucks are loaded, get them heading north. Now, I do have, I have some helicopters here, so what we can do is fly some, some units up into there. Uh, let's get our headquarters moving. So this, this infantry platoon can come up to where that helicopter is, it'll be refueled, and we can fly it north, which is kind of nice. The engineers can load up, drive north. These trucks are loaded already. We can drive them north. Our 
our American platoon over here. We can start sending. Actually, there's a landing zone right there. We can pick him up with the helicopters and get them going. So now it's going to be all about helicopters and how they're going to be used effectively. So there's a helicopter sitting here. We're going to fly that north to this landing zone. It's fully fueled. So we can get there, land. While it's on the ground, obviously it doesn't burn any fuel, so we'll still have more fuel once we get going. here. Let's bring our engineers in. Let's do some firing. Again, we're firing at night. This is going to suck. No joy. But at least we have two platoons there that we can use to start assaulting, which is good. What do you think the next series will be? Uh... Cold War is what we're going to be working on. Let's unload these infantry. They'll move way faster out of the vehicles now. These can load up. And you know what? Where are we going to send them? Let's send them to the north. We're going to send them over here, find a nice landing zone to start collecting these points. Oh no, can I cross? Oh yeah, there's a Ford there, that's good. Yeah, Cold War is next. Um, how's that going to work? So the plan for Cold War should be an interesting one. Uh, we'll release some of the core... We're sending this John Wayne. He's heading north up into that area there. But he's going to have some gunship support. Uh, so, Cold War. What's the idea? What's the plan? The plan is... To have some of the key countries. So, the UK, the US, Germany, France... Uh, East and West Germany, the Soviets, the Czechs, the Polish. Is that it? I think that might be it for the, the first run. And then what it'll be is that each decade will have a scenario or a series of scenarios that have a situation where the Cold War has gone hot and then you'll be able to fight out over some key battlefields in Central Europe, how that plays out. There's so much stuff that I need to do and get to, but I just don't have the infantry on the ground to do it. Oh yeah, there's that couple RPG teams here that I still need to deal with, but that's for later. Here, this guy, he's just going to continue his combat with that engineer. Oh, those buggers. Look at that. They're following me. Can I destroy them? Ah, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky buggers. If you like rockets, you're going to love Cold War. Yeah, right? <laughs> so true, John. So true. Ah, okay. So we have our M60 teams. They're going to run up the road. Go grab those points. 
but more importantly we have these other units do we have any infantry here no we have guns i need infantry there's the infantry just gonna move these out of the way get these trucks up the road also in tandem um work on the World War II series will will continue. It is going to take long to do that because there's lots to do. We here we have some helicopters. Perfect. Okay, so we have helicopters. We can load up actually both of these. Perfect. The Americans will load up. The Arvin platoon will load up. Let's unload these. So we ran into a machine gun here. Oh, there's an RPG there too. Crap. Yeah, RPG and a machine gun. Man, that sucks. So yeah, so we have to deal with that. And we already we already lost a machine gun. That's brutal. Uh, these trucks, we are heading into the bush. Wait. Yeah, we're heading down into the bush. Down over here. Uh, if you ever make a grand campaign for CS Vietnam, it would be great to have the same game port into CS Col... What do you mean there, Stipe? Sorry. This machine gun, it's going to be taking a while to walk in the woods, but at least we can go grab that point. This is a recon team. It'll be a lot faster going through the woods. Uh, okay, here at uh, Fuak Vin, let's see how this is going to go. So my whole goal here is to collect points to increase our chances Nope, we're stuck there. Crap. How far can you go? Let's just make you go the furthest. How far can you go? There's a road here, so we'll send one of the APCs. Once this is secured, we'll send one of the APCs up there. I don't think there's anything over here, so we're okay. Let's go down to Area Maryland, which is down here. This is almost all secured. Let's double time this platoon. Can we get up there all the way? Oh, nice. Now, is there any roads in here, though? So I'll just leave the APC there. Here's Scooby Snacks. Send him back. This heavy weapons platoon we can send back. This Arvin we can send south to there. APCs, how far north can these guys... Oh, what? Alright, that's that. Let's go check on the area Washington Firebase. All right, what can we do here? Let's do a couple assaults, see if that works. Oh, that that's okay. They ran away. Now they're in the open, they'll be easier to kill. In theory. Ah, uh, darn it. Okay, let's uh, keep going south. See if we can find those mortars. Uh, let's grab 
these two platoons. And these tanks, and we're gonna send them up the road. Or not. This platoon can double time through the woods towards there. Here we have a couple of gunships, but uh, they don't have a perp. A uh, grand campaign for this would be a bit tricky to work out, however. Okay, sorry. Some Paradox game. Uh, CK2 EU4 have a way that you can use the results from your campaign playthrough to be loaded into the next game. So the historical effects of your gameplay affect the next game starting settings. Yeah, so we have linked campaigns. That would be one way of doing it. Although it would be a very challenge you could you could do a series of linked campaigns with these monster campaigns it would be complicated but it's possible i i i can't even imagine how much effort it would take to do that though you know even this thing alone just this scenario alone takes months to develop, to develop right not including the playtesting because the scripting is insane look at this let me show you so this is the the, the lua file for this particular scenario and it is 36,000 lines long. This is just telling the AI what to do. And it's how it's dealing with the points. Yeah, it's just making the AI do what we want it to do together. So th to do a scenario or a grand campaign like that, which would be awesome, I'd be all over that if I had more time, <laughs> is to, yeah, to do that, to follow a brigade through an entire year for example that'd be fascinating you know it comes in country it does a mission it moves to a new place it keeps all its its uh you know losses and whatnot i think in one sense it'd be really really interesting to be able to do that except have your units you know if i click on a, a unit it would gain more experience or something like that it would you know if there was an exceptional unit it would suddenly get better morale. It would suddenly be an A-class unit or, or whatnot. And you could do that within... I don't think stringing them together would be... No, stringing them together would be easy in the sense that I've developed link campaigns before and that's how it works. It's just a matter of keeping a core organization and moving it from one scenario to another. It's really simple. The issue is, as you say, using the you know the unit stats. There are no unit stats right now. This there's nothing that's going to differentiate this platoon six seventy uh, uh, infantry sixty five B from another infantry sixty seven B or sixty five B. They're identical. There's nothing different about them. So there's no way to because it's beyond the scope of the game. Technically, is is what the problem is. Well, when was Hugh again? Or Huey? Huey was in 68. Yeah, 68. So, is there a way to have it that you can go from a 65B to a 65A? Yeah, you can do that. Not in a scenario, but if you do it from a linked scenario, you can totally do that. Yeah. Uh, so maybe that, that could either be a mid-game or late-game scenario combined with this one. You'd have to have the same core unit, though, operating. That That's the kicker, right? So you'd want to have a singular brigade or battalion to keep it small. 
get your choppers. Last scenario, get your choppers off the aircraft gear two turns. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. Lots of ideas that you can do. Totally. If one had all the time in the world, you could do so many things. Let's bring these gunships up here. So, gunships, if they're flying in low and high, they're not affected by the night movement. Logically so. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Ideas are easy. Thousands of lines of codes are another. And that's one of the challenging things with building these, even just these type of weekend scenarios. And I freaking love them. I think they're great. It takes the series to a whole new level. I find this, this is my favorite way to play the campaign series now. Absolutely, no doubt. There's nothing more exciting than this. This is riveting. It's engaging. There's so many things going on that I like doing and not only that it's not overwhelming yeah it's a big map but there's not a lot of units in the grand scheme of things it's not that complicated to do now once we get into cold war or once we get into east front this is you might have this map but there's it's going to be all blue all red there's going to be thousands and thousands of units that is going to get tedious holy crap will that get tedious but this this type of campaign this is pretty cool. I like this. This is fun. This is interesting. It's also great to have the mix. You currently have some short ones. You can do in an hour and some bit longer ones. Yeah, exactly. And I think the mix is important. Even though I, I gravitate to longer scenarios, I think they're more interesting. Having the little ones to play is also useful. If I, you know, if I'm going to pump out a couple of if I want to do a video, for example, it's easy to do it on a, a quick hour-long scenario or two-hour-long scenario as opposed to, you know, this one. This one here we've been doing for 150 hours, roughly, right? It's been crazy. But, yeah. And also from a scenario design standpoint, I enjoy building these. These are fascinating. But the problem is, is that they take so long to do. Not including the testing. As we've seen... We've been basically testing as I've been playing. And every time that you play it, it's going to be different. So the things that I've changed with one, how effective are they going to be in the future? I mean, I did a lot of changes in the beginning of this so that if someone is playing 1.30 this campaign, they're going to have a much different experience than what I had because I made it a little more complicated. I made some different decision makings for the VC at the beginning of the scenario. So yeah, you're going to be doing, you have the same missions. Your missions aren't going to change. It's just what's going to happen during those missions. That's going to change. That's going to change a lot. And in that sense, it gives you some replayability. Even though you know what the ultimate out outcome is going to be, how you go about doing it. So we, that's a good question. Two things. One, John is asking, yes, the unit density in Europe is and will be huge to code all that way monumental yes absolutely it will 100 percent, it will that is going to be daunting that is a good word it's going to be daunting it'll be fun it'll be interesting i'm gonna have a heck of a lot of fun trying to do it but it'll be daunting totally and then stipe is asking just out of curiosity what tools to use for testing and debugging with birdo has been awesome he developed tools that we can automate a lot of the testing so i basically open up the terminal go to my files and then have it auto run and i can watch it play but you can only watch it play and do something if you have both sides scripted otherwise you actually have to manually play the game for example i don't have the americans in this scenario scripted because i'm intending you to play the americans so if you were to decide, I'm going to play the weekend as the VC, well, that will be a terrible experience because the, the AI doesn't know what to do. It doesn't have, it's not that smart. Uh, these test the Lua files and C++, no, so they test, well, inherently they test the C++, but the auto testing is, is generally testing how the Lua file is, is functioning, if it's working, if there's errors, how, and allows me to see 
okay, so I coded, I coded this, this company to attack these objectives. Is it actually doing that? Or is it not? Is it just standing there? And for example, here, as we've seen before, this platoon here, this is an error in the Lua file because it, do, it got stuck here due to pathing. It's trying to probably go somewhere down here and it's not smart enough to go up to the bridge. It got stuck in that hex. So all the platoons that were here, that that's the AI being dumb. It doesn't understand the pathing of where it has to go. So I fixed that in the Lua file so that in the future it'll go to that location and cross the bridge if the bridge is there. But here, you know, I would catch that in testing. I don't see everything in testing, obviously, otherwise I would have caught that. So yeah. And then when it's testing, we see other errors that are generated in the error log that might flag something for the C++. You know, something didn't trigger right or, or something like that, right? So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes, that is involved. And quite frankly, with Alberto, this, is, this would be so much harder and so much more laborious and more time consuming. Buffer overflow. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's see. What are we doing here? We are going to go up into this bunker. We know there's an anti-aircraft machine gun there, but we should be okay sitting in there. Here's the risky part. Now, there's only one visibility, so my recon helicopters are pretty much effectively useless. The only thing I can do is fly around and hope they spot something. But doing a LOS check now is there it's hardly worth doing look at that okay so i got lucky spotted mortars if i do an los check here we know that there's mortars there but we can't see them because it's nighttime i can't see anything now normally if i had flares i'd be using these loaches to fire flares for my gunships There's frickin' NVA platoons over here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Really good questions and conversations, guys. I, uh, that, that's really good. I enjoy that a lot. Thank you for that. What do we have here? We have trucks. We have machine guns that we're bringing up to the, the bunker here. Another idea is being able to trade victory points for supplies. In this case, flares. Yeah, that that is a really good idea. So one thing I was thinking about doing... Um, in, in a way to... As a complete... Keeping the idea of a campaign... The, the weekend long campaign for example one thing that I was thinking about doing is having you with a commander make decisions so what would be an example of that and then those decisions would affect what the outcome of the of the scenario would be right so say I have you and your commander you know at a at the base in like hey and there is a decision that has to be made where you have to take your commander and move it to a particular town or a particular hex or something like that in order for that to trigger whatever is going to happen in that scenario. For example, uh, say the decision is, uh, what will be the decision? You have a operating, it's the morning, what do you want to do today? Get in your helicopter and fly to, you know, this airfield, for example, if you want to do operations around that airfield. Or fly to this airfield, if you want to fly or do operations around that. You know, as 
that type of thing where you're making decisions deciding on how you want the campaign to go now that would take a lot of complicated um coding and scripting and reinforcement schedules for the vc in order for things to to run but that would be another way of making this a lot more dynamic and a lot more interesting and you know you could spend your seven days doing kind of what you wanted instead of how i'm scripting it what i'm telling you to do this is what you have to do today you can make it more well this is my operation this is what i was instructed to do but this is how i want to do it now, that is a whole new level of, of scripting but totally fascinating totally fascinating what do you think of that idea setting up a that'd be really cool indeed like a commander level it would could be a dlc yeah right exactly so something to think about like playing this campaign but doing it how you would prefer to do it as opposed to how i'm scripting it i mean I'm, it's still fun doing it this way i i think it's fun because technically you would have your orders but then you would have usually the freedom to you know execute those orders how you wanted right uh we do have helicopters here let's load they are loaded let's get them up in the sky let's send them in high level and we're gonna send these guys north way north because we have a whole bunch of things here that need to be recaptured even worse the further north we go and in here west of Loch Ninn old fire bases need to be recaptured yeah just so much stuff that needs to be done still So we do have a couple helicopters here. Oh, we need to land this one. We can load up this regional force, get him ready to do something. We have an engineer platoon. We can load him up into that helicopter. And we have a two strength point helicopter still. Let's load up this CIDG platoon. We'll wait until a couple turns, get all these units up in the air to start going around and doing the things we need them to do. I don't know if there's something else in it has there's no other points that have been taken for quite a while in here so i'm kind of not concerned about this area now but we need to take those points back just so the vc don't collect the points and i think i think that's it let's save it end it these mortars down here we have to go hunt down they're down here somewhere oh rockets I think we moved from there and there rockets are the worst strength units there or at least over half strength units yeah they did miss John I'm happy about that let me tell you sorry it's my coffee I 
machine gun RPGs and a recoilless rifle in there. Fire back. So because it's dark, we can't really target. We're just shooting at the gun flashes. So we don't really know what we're shooting at. We're shooting at one of those units. But it's a total fluke about what we're actually hitting. The only thing that isn't a fluke is if we hit it with artillery, because that'll impact all the all the units in that hex. Oh, I forgot to move that guy out of there. Again, they're shooting at the gun flashes. We don't know what we're shooting at. There's only one hex. They don't have a choice. Or one unit in that hex. They don't have a choice. Another advantage of trading victory point idea is that if your situation is getting hopeless due to critical lack of specific resources, it might give you a fighting chance. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Very good point. You can do it. Lots of heavy weapons. Holy crap. Machine guns, RPGs, anti-aircraft machine guns. Anti-aircraft machine guns, RPGs, and recoilless rifle. That'll be a tough hex to get into. Because it's an industrial complex. that ambush site. Machine guns and RPGs there. Yeah, we see them now. On the other hand, you could also lose all those resupplied flares as well. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's the kicker. So, I'm concerned about these two, or these units here, being overrun. So, here's something to note. Um, the AI doesn't cheat. So, because it's dark, it will also have a harder time finding where I am, just as I have a harder time finding where it is. Which means that some of its decisions are going to be mostly focused on, for example, objectives until it can see me. And then it makes other decisions. So here it is wrapping around me. On the bright side, I think because of that, they're pulling out of the airfield and securing the town. They're really stacking up that... Oh, no! Man! Oh, that's good. They caused casualties. Oh, we got lucky there. Oh, we're gonna lose this. Oh, what was that? A recon unit in the middle of nowhere. Uh, five units that are isolated still, which makes sense. Six units have recovered morale, which is great. Headqu eight headquarters, undervised supply, 27 units low on ammo. Oh, we need to go check these guys out. Let's do that first. 8976. Uh, 
night fighting is hard. Oh, there's only one strength point there. Okay, before we do anything, that's Alt X. 89, 76. Let's land this helicopter and get it refueling. That's crazy. Uh, let's drop down. Oh, nope. There we go. That needs to land as well. What else was there? So we got those two and 102.76. There it is. There we go. We have our loaches on the ground refueling. We have our hogs here. When you begin a scenario, there's the option to change the advantage for side A or side B. Basically, it just changed the uh, CRT, how the CRT works, that's all. So you'll be either more effective or less effective in your attacks. tell what do we have also I can't tell <sighs> oh man what oh there's an RPG there Even nicer. Where did that come from? All the way over here. Oh, we did a good number on it. Not enough to take it, though. Can I do that? No, no. Shoot. I don't want to be stuck in that hex. Welcome, Ali. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for joining. Oh, that didn't go well. Crap. Loving every minute of it. Making progress, although not as much progress as I had hoped. Let's move up into this hex here to just avoid... Rockets. Ah, oh, man. Okay, now there's one strength point there. Let's try and overrun that. And let's pull back here, too. Ah, perfect. That's good. That's what we wanted to see. Now, these two platoons, they're not good. Can I... Oh, RPGs! And machine guns. Okay, so here's a, a town hex. City hex. Is that urban? That's suburb. 
That gives us some protection. Man, there's so much stuff back here. So, this is... I need more infantry. That's what I need. I need more infantry. Let's try and get in there again. Ooh! We destroyed some rockets. Yay! That's good. That's what we want to see. Ah, uh, let's start moving our vehicles up. Here comes the cavalry. Slowly. <laughs> really, really slowly. These helicopters are good. We have trucks moving north. Get our vehicles moving north as well. slow. Come on. Can we double time this guy? Oh yeah. There we go. We can run down the road. Make some good time. Almost get to the helicopters. And these guys can also run down the road. guys are waiting to pick these guys up, which is perfect. Uh, that's excellent. Heck yeah. On the bright side, I feel like we're making really good progress on collecting these points. What the heck? We just grabbed that Son of a... I'm going to pull this unit out because I think we're just going to lose it if we keep it there. Considering this is a link campaign or a week in scenario for Chinese farm or perhaps Valley of Tears in the Golan Heights. Yeah, I've been thinking about effective uh, Middle East a weekend scenarios. It'll be an interesting challenge. The problem with the Middle East stuff is that a lot of the stuff didn't actually last a week. Most of the combat was over in a few days. Heck yeah, that's what we like to see. Now, can we do the same here? Oh, it's disrupted. Ah, of course they run away. Oh, we destroyed it. Perfect. So that means, for the most part, this area is secure. We just have to clean out these mortars that are somewhere down here. 
grab these points, which we're doing with our tanks. Let's get some APCs over here too. Infantry, just in case we run into some bad guys. Can we finally destroy this thing? We have gunships here. Let's get really close. There we go. That's what we want to see. That makes me happy. These platoons. Let's get going. Uh, yeah, things got blown up real quick or put out of action. That will be the issue in Europe, too. Yeah, for sure. That will be the kicker. You might have a tank battalion at the beginning of the week, for example, but then a couple of days later, you don't have any tanks left. That's not cool. Okay, we have a whole bunch of helicopters here. Let's get them up in the high flight zone. We're going to send them north. crap. And just like that, we run into anti-aircraft machine guns. Where are we going to go? Poor John will be, would be calculating all the costs of lost tanks. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. What? Look at this. We just took that. Okay, so we have to come back. Man, this is going to be rough. So we have a whole bunch of helicopters here. Let's fly them way up north. Oh, let's not go there. Let's go here. If anything we've learned that... Now here, here's the border. Right? Here's the border between Cambodia and Vietnam. This is one of our first fire bases that we built, and they've obviously captured this area again. So we need to land in here with some of these troops. What are they? They're all Arvin. And we're going to try and take some of this back. I don't know to what extent this is defended, but I guess we're going to be finding out. Got freaking hit again. Okay, let's start bombarding this with mortars. Brutal. And look at that, they're chasing. They're chasing our frickin' mortars. Maybe we can get lucky, grab a point. Yay, we grabbed a point! Uh, what else is going on? That's done. We 
Where's the trail? There's the trail. Yeah, John's going to have to start doing the research for how much World War II tanks cost for everyone. So, we don't need this battery here anymore. Let's load everyone up. We can start heading towards this road, go back up to and lock. We do have a battery down here. Let's fly north. Let's go north, grab that six strength point Chinook, and bring it down here since this battery is no longer needed. Where is it? There it is. Keeping track mentally of where your units are is a challenge. It's a fun challenge, but it's a challenge. Of course, you can use the find organization to see where everything is. So, for example, I could have just uh, selected it, and it would have taken me right to it. But you have to know what you're looking for in order for that to work. Uh, we can move these guys up the road. To start clearing these wrecks that are on the road. Oh, there's still a point in here I have to grab. Oh yeah, there was some infantry at this base that we wanted to move to the airfield to get ready for a helicopter ride. So, 20k, what is that in today's terms? 20k for a Sherman, back in the day. We have gunships. Let's send these guys north, might as well. We can use the extra guns up here at Loch Ninn. Let's go down south. Move our vehicles. Oh, crap! There's an RPG in there. Of course there is. Well, darn it. So that means we need to send some infantry up there, but these ones are not going to do that. These are going to head south. Let's send the Arvin down here. And let's send the American platoon. Where does it need to go? How about... Uh, let's highlight our landing zones. So some there, some there. There we're going to already. I guess there. Oh, there's one there too. Yeah, let's go there. Okay. Now we also need... Do we have any trucks? We need some infantry. And 
Let's grab a couple of machine guns. We're going to go up and take out that blasted RPG that's hounding us. This is a road. That's mostly a road. That's a road up the way there. So we can drive all the way up into that position there. So that's kind of good. All right. That's done. How about way down south? There's a road somewhere. Where's the road? Okay, we can go all the way up here. Or not. And look, it slowed right down for the night, eh? something there. What? Look at all that. I don't know. There's something there. Let's hit it. Let's assault it. Trail porters and supply caches. Oh, nice. Which means there's something over here, too. Oh, we got lucky there. good there. Let's uh, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Right there. That's where they are. Look at that. Hanging out. Checking things out. Making sure it's all good. Looks like a German Shepherd. Alright. I think that's good. Let's save it and see how badly we get hit by rockets. Fingers crossed. Just, just down there, the buggers. Oh, they're right there. Or right beside them. Oh, and down there. So right in here. That's good. There's so many of them. I'm so glad we're not there. So glad. Right, John? Yay! Oh, that's okay. Oh, they might assault that, though. We got lucky. Come on. Whew. Ooh, they missed. That's good. Three rocket hits in that spot. I'm so glad we aren't there. Four rocket hits. Holy crap. We moved out of there too. This is not going to end well. We have decent strength units here, which is kind of nice. Yeah, the rockets all missed, John. Thank goodness. Because they're the worst. Oh, 
both here too. Look at them all. So many heavy weapons. I thought I'd be able to just come up here and grab this, thinking they'd all be defending the base, but no. No joy. All around, we're completely surrounded by heavy weapons. Gonna need a bigger army. Yeah, apparently. This is, uh, not good. Not good. On the bright side, I have secured the airfield, a lot of it, so I can start flying in reinforcements. Thanks for tuning in there, John. I really appreciate it. Hope to see you on Wednesday. Have a good week until then. Thanks for tuning in, Bess. Hope you have a great day. We'll just finish this replay and uh, we'll call our quits for today. Aircraft machine gun. Rockets. So even though that's out of my line of sight, I'm firing at the gun flashes. That's what they're doing there. We should be able to hang on to that position as long as we don't get assaulted. And here we should be able to assault that. they're going to do. Oh, there's sappers in there now, too. Oh, they're coming up. That's not good. These guys are toast. Them dispersing like that will help our cause at least. Oh, did that RPG move out? Man, look at all them all. There's so many guys here. Took a loss, but caused them casualties. Nothing. That's good. Ooh, they took a loss. Ooh, we took a loss. They took a loss. Ooh, locking in. It's still a tough fight. We have five units isolated. Yeah, these two. They're the ones that are surrounded. Some units there. We have three that have recovered morale. 11 headquarters unable to provide supply. One artillery unit unavailable. 28 units low on ammo. And we did clear a mine. Or a wreck. Crazy. This is, this is still hard. Can't tell if there's anything in there or not. All right, so we're gonna save it and we're gonna start the turn on Wednesday and see how that goes. But first, for Stipe, let's take a look and see what the point total is. Uh, we went up a couple thousand, so that's good. So we should be able to continue going up at least for the next seven turns. Hopefully that'll bring us back up to a draw at least and we'll see how that goes. Obviously the more 
objectives that we secure, the better it's going to be for us in the long run. We are making some really good progress. We are having very difficult fights, though, still. This is this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I'm quite kind of surprised that there's so many VC here still. And this, this is... This is not good at all. <laughs> These guys are going to get wiped out, unfortunately. Uh, let's just take a look at the... The unit losses for shits and giggles. Uh... Lost one AVLB, lost some reconnaissance jeeps, one of our howitzers, trucks, lots of trucks, some engineering trucks we've lost, supply trucks, that's what's hurt us the most, that's why we have no flares, because we've lost so many supply trucks, as well as supplies. We lost some batteries, a couple guns there, that's not good, recoilless rifle, a whole whack load of infantry. Is this... Better or worse? Uh, this should be better than Mekong, but at the same time, Mekong only had one brigade, so we have taken a lot of infantry losses for our core units. Uh, the Arvin, let's see how bad they've been hit. Well, look at that, we've lost quite a few helicopters, a couple commanders, a couple headquarters, or even a brigade task force headquarters. That's not good. Quite a few gunships, 20-odd tanks, armored vehicles, and here's the Arvin. These are all Arvin vehicles. Hun oh, wow, they've lost a lot, too. 130. Plus some mic force, a whole bunch of regional force. Yeah, it's been a bloody battle. Been a bloody battle. there we go saved thanks for tuning in i really appreciate it i hope you're enjoying this as much as i have thank you so much for the conversation today that was just fantastic i really enjoyed that i'll be back on wednesday at 6 p.m pacific uh, if you're watching this on youtube thank you uh for watching i really appreciate it if you like this type of content please give it a like and subscribe it really does help and if you have comments ask them down below i do answer them all always happy to do so Stay tuned for the 2.30 Middle East update. Should be out hopefully next week, late next week, or the week after. We're just waiting for approvals. Exciting times to be had. Yeah. And on that note, take care, smile always, and talk to you soon.